today's society, the media plays a huge role in entertainment and has allowed the video gaming industry to boom. With the advent of games consoles such as the Xbox and the PlayStation, gaming has become much more socially accepted. Why is it then that PC gaming, the original form of gaming, has become such a social taboo? How can one gamer play a game on the Xbox and then play that same game on the computer and automatically become a nerd? Today we're going to investigate. We're going to delve deeper into an industry that the ordinary public has forgotten and look at what makes PC gamers PC gamers. has over four different game stores, each posting a huge variety of games for all the different platforms. But just how many games are sold for PC? And if they are, how is their popularity justified? Especially considering nowadays PC gaming is considered somewhat of a social taboo. I'm going to investigate. I asked an owner of one of Stafford's leading video game stores just how well PC games were selling, and whether he thought any decline was due to technical problems faced by the users, or the stereotypically nerdy image associated with them by other members of society. We are selling more, but I think it's only because of the fact that a lot of places are stopping selling them. You don't buy, PC games don't get brought off the internet because they can't send them back and that sort of thing, whereas we do allow them to exchange them if they don't work on their system. But it is seen as a bit of like, a taboo if you, especially World of Warcraft seems to have done it than anything else. Um, the people are on their games all the time. So. so what about those very people? The people regarded as nerds and outcasts? The ones who play computer games all the time? Is it wrong that their hobby should be classified as taboo? As if they're doing something wrong? I'm going to find out. And where's the best place to start? A LAN party. A LAN party, or local area network party, is no normal booze, drugs and loud music party. This is a social gathering of computer enthusiasts who all get together, hook their computers up on a network and play games all night, fueling themselves on caffeine alone. We caught up with Kieran Recoil Davis attending one of said parties, with many other fellow PC gamers to try and ask him just why he does it and what makes PC gaming so different to console games. It's just the atmosphere of being with everyone who enjoys the same kind of games that I do. I mean, like, if, if we were console gamers, like Xbox or PS3, we just have to take a control around. But, um, because we're on PCs, the only way we can really actually game together and actually see each other is to do it in somebody's house at a lamp party. Yeah. 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 Yeah.